Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast redefining self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, certified personal trainer, Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a busy working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained until I took action on my own transformation journey. I finally found the solutions to feeling confident and living a healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard and now I'm on a mission to equip you with sustainable tools to help transform your life from the inside out guilt free. Together, we will simplify your health and fitness into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but daily actions that light you up instead. So if you're ready to redefine self-care and step into your own self-transformation, then let's do this. Hello, hello. Welcome back for Habit Hack Thursday on Self Transformed. I hope you're having a great day. Today is an extra special episode because I am celebrating 100,000 downloads of the Self Transformed podcast, y'all. I am so excited. I'm so honored that this show has been downloaded. 100,000 times. It's actually closer to 110,000 now, actually. We've had a big boom since I decided to celebrate and have this um, episode on the schedule. So just so, so very grateful. And I thought it would be a really great opportunity for today's Habit Hack Thursday to share five takeaways I've learned from doing this podcast and the growth that I have experienced that I have been able to apply to my real life that I know that you could apply to your real, real life as well outside of running a podcast. So a couple of reminders before we get into these five takeaways for you. Number one, Habit Breakthrough Boot Camp is happening next week. I'm super excited. We are celebrating 100,000 downloads of the show within the Facebook community all this next week during Habit Breakthrough Boot Camp. I am doing a giveaway for three people. Like This is a giveaway on steroids. I always do a giveaway during Habit Breakthrough Boot Camp every quarter for someone to get free entry to the next round of Self Transform You, but I decided, oh my gosh, like we're going to do three winners because we're celebrating 100K. So all you got to do to win, let's back this up a little bit, Habit Breakthrough Boot Camp is a three-day free workshop I host in my Facebook community every quarter. And this is going to give you the biggest bang for your buck because you are pretty much going to walk away with some basic habit strategy, helping you redefine the way self-care really looks like and help you stop being so resistant to change and help you get unstuck no matter what season of life you're in. So I'll be going live every day, the 12th, 13th, and 14th of April at 12 p.m. Eastern in the Facebook community. There's a link in the show notes. I'll tell you the link here in a minute as well. But each day I'll be going live sharing more about these three areas for you. You can watch it live and comment and enter to win the giveaway. You can watch the replay and comment to enter the giveaway. I'll be posting throughout the Facebook group as well as various ways that you can get bonus entries. I'll be mentioning it during the lives and the replay as well. The winner will be announced on Friday the 15th at noon, but one person will win a habit hacking call with me. That's a 30 minute call where we will really dig in deep to what your current habits are and some basic habit strategy for you to get some wins right away. One person will win entry into the Whole30 anytime course or plant-based whole 30 anytime course and someone will get to do the next round of self transform you starting april 18th for free so join the facebook group it's at bit.ly slash self transformed fam or you can go to the link in the show notes if you want to learn a little bit more text me your favorite emoji to sign up for my weekly pump up text those people and those on the newsletter and those in the Facebook group are the first three areas to know firsthand when things are happening. You can text me your favorite emoji at 773-904-2157. That's linked in the show notes too. And we can connect over there. If you have any questions, you can reply directly to those texts over there. Okay, friend, I'm so excited. Again, I'm so grateful for you for listening to the show, for sharing it, for tagging me on Instagram that you're listening. It just makes my heart so happy. 
So let me share my five big, big takeaways from having 100,000 downloads of this podcast and how you can apply these takeaways to your real life because Honestly, I've been able to apply them to my real life as well. So number one, stay resilient and consistent. So y'all, I was averaging close to 500 like downloads a month when I first started this podcast almost two and a half years ago now. Yeah, two and a half years ago now. And I thought, oh my gosh, well, that was pretty good. Like it's me, my mom, it's like my husband. I'm like, hey, just down, l- listen so you could actually like get me like an extra download listen. I'm not even kidding. Like, no, like he hears me recording these a lot of times or he's like, well, this doesn't really reply to me as like a 41 year old man. But anyway, <laughs> he's, he was helping me with my download numbers but I stayed consistent I put out I have put out an episode every single week I have batched episodes I worked ahead of time so when I was on vacation I wasn't working I was present with my husband or my friends or my kids that way I was able to stay consistent and I was able to stay resilient because I would only get 500 downloads a month or I'd be like oh like 10 people listen to this episode that's great I put a lot of work into that but I kept being consistent. So now I'm down to two episodes or I'm up to two episodes a week. Every Monday, we have guests every other week. Every Thursday, we have Habit Hack Thursday. Our Habit Hack Thursday episodes have shown to be the most popular because they are quick tips to help you get some wins right away. And that has shown itself in the amount of people I've been able to help from when I first started this podcast. So I've been resilient, I've been consistent, and I'm seeing the fruit of my labors by being able to help more women and got and I've gotten even more crystal clear on that mission, which is to help you create a sustainable health plan that will stick through proven habit strategy and overall losing the guilt and making more time for yourself. Okay, so number two, ask for help. So over a year ago, I hired a business coach to help me. I've done an episode on the importance of asking for help and hiring a coach and that investment, that energy that happens when you invest in yourself or your business. And um, that was really scary. I interviewed a ton of different folks to be my business coach and I landed on one and my husband was in on the interviewing process for as well. And it totally helped transform my podcast in the past year because I asked for help. I got more clarity. I stopped spinning my wheels and wasting time trying to like do Google University and YouTubing everything, which nothing wrong with that. I still do that all the time. But there's a time and place where you have to ask for help to not take such a long road to get to your own transformation or breakthrough. So ask for help. And y'all, of course, you can ask me for help if you need help. I am here to help you in any type of goals you have around healthy habits. And number three, ask questions. Just don't assume. So (laughs) I ask a lot of questions in my Facebook group. I'm a part of other groups. I do a lot of polls in my Instagram stories just to get a, a real feel for where you are challenged at, where you have fun at, where you need a little bit more help from me as your coach. What type of style of coaching? Like, is it one on one? Is it group? Is it, you know, a phone call? Is it a course? What does that mean? So, these numbers, those $100,000 don't mean anything if I'm not helping people in all honesty. So when I am putting out these episodes, everyone that comes into my Facebook group, I ask them a couple of questions. That is some market research for me. I'm constantly asking questions in my Instagram community. So ask questions. Just don't assume. You can apply that to your real life as well. You know, a lot of times you can't just assume. You know you know that saying, what happens when you assume you make a bleep out of you and me, right? Right. <laughs> That's like such a dad joke. But you can't just assume. You have to ask questions to make sure you're crystal clear on the message that you're delivering, whether it be via a podcast or just communicating with a friend, your colleague, or your spouse. Number four, pivot when necessary. So you all know if you've been a longtime listener of the show, the show has not always been called self-transformed. You know, I'm giving you the tools to help you transform. You're taking the action, giving yourself that own self-transformation. But this show used to be called the Self-Care Isn't Selfish Podcast. And I felt like God had put that on my heart um, for like a year before I like decided to launch the podcast. And um, 
it started out great, but as I dug in deeper to what the real challenges were by asking questions, doing market research, I decided to change the name of the show because the word self-care in itself is very um, polarizing. People don't see it as the hard things you do every day to take care of yourself. A lot of folks see it as frivolous things like bubble baths and manicures, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I talk about that all the time. If I could have a massage and a manicure every week, great, but I can't, I don't have time for that. And that's not a priority on my list and make, to make me feel balanced in all honesty. So pivot when necessary. I had to pivot in order to grow my business and the explosion I have seen in my podcast numbers over the past year have proven to be wise that I did that and that was thanks to me actually hiring a coach to help me do that. And then number five, I need to take my own advice and make sure I am making self-care a priority as well. You know, I sometimes listen back to my own episodes. Sometimes I don't like to listen because I'm like, oh, that's kind of cringeworthy hearing yourself talk back. You know what I mean? But a lot of times I'll listen back and I'm like, gosh, that's that's really like good advice, Emily. Why, why am I not doing that right now? You know, I get in the thick of things trying to help folks and do this and do that. And that can be very draining when you're giving so much of yourself to others that sometimes I need to take my own advice. And I know you probably need to hear that today too. I know you support your friends, your kids, and you're giving them all these wonderful pieces of advice advice and helping them and trying to help them stay positive. And sometimes you need to take your own advice as well. And then lastly, I'm going to give you a bonus takeaway because I think this is really something. But if something is on your heart, if something is not going away, then do it. Do it. Find a way. Ask for help and find a way. When I launched my podcast, I was... <laughs> I, I waited so long because I was like trying to piece it all together. I actually hired someone to help me launch it because I was so freaking overwhelmed, y'all. I like didn't know what to do. And that made the process so much easier by asking for help. But once I launched it and the feedback I've gotten over the past two and a half years, 100,000 downloads shows that I am doing something right and I'm helping a lot of other busy working moms like myself finally stop just merely surviving and transform to start thriving in their lives. I'm giving you the tools and it feels so dang good to watch you feel empowered to have that transformation as well. So if there is something on your heart, maybe it's to do self-transform you. Maybe it's to um, start a new workout routine. Maybe it's to like have a hard conversation with your spouse. Maybe it's to, oh, I want to, you know, go open up a boutique, whatever. It doesn't have to be business related. It could be anything. You all have some type of calling on your heart. Try it. Do it. Fail forward. I have failed more times than than succeeded over the last two and a half years, but I have learned so much from those, in quotes, failures because they have given me so much more um, learning experience versus a setback. So I hope you take these five takeaways and apply them to your life. I hope you join me in Habit Breakthrough Boot Camp the 12th through the 14th. I'll be chatting a little bit more about Self Transform You and my other programming that you can enroll in or maybe win a spot in during the, um, the three-day workshop as well. Join us live or comment during the replay and join the group, the Facebook group, bit.ly slash self fam to make sure that you are in and maybe you'll win a spot in one of those three areas or maybe we can just get to know each other a little bit better and you can see my love of taco tuesday and fun <laughs> funny memes in the group <laughs> this week we were talking a lot about coffee it's been a lot of gray weather still even though we're in april so we've been talking a lot about cozy drinks and coffee and it's been really fun to see everyone's um, favorite coffees they like to have at home so it's just a community of other women just trying to build each other up and a lot of free coaching over there as well so come join us this um habit breakthrough boot camp won't happen again until um uh, three more months the next quarter so make sure you join us now if you change nothing, nothing changes. So you might as well take action now. And I am here for it. And I am here for you. Again, so grateful for 100,000 downloads. Cheers to the next 100,000 more. I know I'm going to get there even quicker than this first 100,000 because of wonderful women like you listening to the show. Sending you a big virtual hug. I love you all so much. I'll see you in the group. I'll see you Monday for the next episode of Self Transform. And we'll see you next Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the 12th, 13th, and 14th for Habit Breakthrough Boot Camp. Let's go!
Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you love today's show and know your girlfriends need to hear this message too, then grab a screenshot, post it to your Instagram stories and tag me at Emily Nichols Tutu because the more mamas out there hearing this message, the more empowered we'll all feel to take care of ourselves so we can pour from a full cup. Or the number one way you can thank me for this podcast is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas will find the show here too. Love you and appreciate you, girlfriends. See you next time.